All right, Terrell. What's going on, man? You back down in L.A.? Tell me about uh, a day in the life of Terrell Bynum. Uh, so far, just back home with the fam, chilling with them. Uh, it's kind of a blessing because you, you, you kind of get to kick it with your fam, and you don't usually get to do that a whole bunch. Sure. How's uh, virtual workouts, virtual school, virtual meetings? Can you fill us in on that? Uh, it's, it's nice because uh, you get to do everything on your timetable, but – I mean, if you're on top of it, it, it could be maybe even easier. Uh, working out, it could be tough because you're not going to be, you know, uh, always with your, your brothers, like always going to be able to throw and do things like that. But you can do things like by yourself and you can get on top of it. Sure. Um, you know, you really came on last season, you know, 31 catches, 368 yards, a couple of touchdowns. You know, what was, what was your biggest takeaway from a season ago on the field? I just got to build on build on it. I uh, always knew I, I could show something, but uh, I just needed an opportunity, and I got it. Then I got to keep my foot on the gas pedal. Uh, got to keep getting better. Yeah. You know, you, you were that guy. It seemed like uh, Eason, as the year went on, got really comfortable looking to on third down, making that clutch catch. You know, I think of the, the Oregon game. You had six catches, 43 yards, I think. And then, obviously – uh, five catches, another 67 yards in the Vegas Bowl. So you really came on down the stretch of that season. And uh, that's certainly got to build some confidence going into 2020. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Eason was a, a character. Uh, he was actually my, my neighbor. So when I was getting the opportunity, I was kind of in his head talking about, you got to throw it to me, you got to throw it to me. So it's pretty funny. Yeah, it's a, a smart wide receiver for sure, <laughs> man. Well, I know you guys have been meeting virtually. And, um, you know, obviously uh, you have a new offensive coordinator in John Donovan. How much different, you know, is this scheme, uh, albeit virtually learning it uh, right now than last year's? Uh, well, we got to put a little bit on because we got a little bit of OTAs. But the offense is it's, – it's like a pro-style offense. I mean, we can pretty much do everything. So I'm excited for it. I'm, I'm – eager to see how it's going to turn out. Like right now, it looks like we're about to be pounding the ball, but with who we got, we could probably do everything we, we really want. Yeah. What do you, what do you think, you know, the last couple of years, the area of your game that is the most improved and also maybe where there's still some room to grow? Um, I think I, my best asset, like as a football player is probably my hands, uh, hand strength. I feel like if the ball's in like my vicinity, I'm probably going to go get it. And, uh, as far as what I can get better at, it's probably like studying defenses. Um, I've I started to get better at that toward the end of last year, but being able to know what's going to happen before I do it would be a big asset to my game, I think. Yeah. Um, so you said you, ha you haven't had much time on the field working with your teammates with the new scheme, but, uh, you know, it's going to be a new quarterback this year. You know, how much time have you had, you know, maybe just throwing routes with both uh, uh, Sermon and Morris? I've thrown with them a whole bunch of times, and they're both lights out. So I'm excited for that for that competition because uh, they're both, like, uh, right next to each other as far as, like, what they can do. So I'm excited. Uh, they both have strong arms, and they're both delivering the ball. It's, it's just going to be – it's going to be fun, I think. Yeah, and, and the competition in that wide receiver room, too. A couple of seniors moving on. Aaron Fuller, Andre Bacellia, guys played a lot of football for the Dogs. You know, who, who all in that room is going to step up along with you this year? That's tough because as far as everyone's skill set, everyone could be the guy. It's just going to be, you know, who's going to make those plays in the practices and who's going to make those plays in the game because everybody's going to be strong. Everybody's going to be fast. Like, everybody in the receiver room, top to bottom, can play. Yeah. And talk about working with Junior Adams last year, his uh, first year as a wide receiver coach, and, and what a difference he made for you. He really just made me comfortable. I mean, as far as sitting down and talking to him, he's like a funny dude, so we always joke around and just talk. But uh, as far as football, he's, he knows his X and O's pretty good. Um, so we'll sit down and talk about defensive schemes and all these things, how to attack leverages, how to attack uh, certain um, deep, uh, DBs. So I've got really close with him. Like, I'll shoot him texts all the time of, like, how would you release versus this? How would you do the versus this? And he always has something good to say. So we've got really close. That's awesome. 
you had to be pretty excited watching the draft and seeing receiver after receiver after receiver <laughs> get drafted this year. I mean, the game is changing right mm-hmm. before our eyes. Who, who was maybe your favorite receiver growing up? You modeled your game after any one guy in particular. And, and at what age did you say, you know, I, I want to be a receiver. I don't want to be yeah. a running back or a quarterback. I want to play wide out. Uh, one of the guys that I actually love watching was actually Chad Johnson. Uh, I think he brought the, like, diva to the receiver, but it was kind of like a funny way. Like, he was having fun with it, and I, I, I like the way he played. Always, like, kind of talking his stuff and, like, just really playing with a smile on his face. I always kind of to emulate that. But I think my favorite player growing up had to be Devin Hester, but that was more in the return game. He was super explosive. Yeah. At St. John Bosco, did it, were you just strictly a receiver? Did they play everywhere? Did you know from day one that that's what you were going to be? Uh, it was actually pretty tough. I played a little bit of defense toward the end of the year, my senior year, and my coach was actually telling me that I probably would have been a better defensive player. But uh, I, it was just mostly because I understood a lot of route schemes and uh, I was just instinctual. Yeah. Well, who who is the toughest DB you've uh... – stacked up against maybe in practice maybe maybe it is someone in the Pac-12 conference or in one of the bowl games if you had to one guy is who's that toughest DB you've lined up against I'm gonna have to go Byron Murphy uh at the line of scrimmage he was just like unlike everybody else he's just kind of like a good shuffler he's trying to stay in front of you the whole time and uh it really helped me because he was basically teaching me what I should do versus that sure Okay, so this is uh, – is this your fourth year already? Going to be a junior? Golly, yeah. it goes by fast, man. Uh, what would you say is the biggest challenge of being a, a student athlete today in, in, in college – this day and age of college football? Uh, time management. Yeah. I would say time management. Um, it's hard to really balance trying to be the best football player and trying to stay on top of your schoolwork. I've been blessed to be able to do both. Uh, I feel like I'm, it's pretty natural for me, but as far as everybody else trying to do their majors and everything like that, it can get, you can get caught up and get overwhelmed. But I think our staff and our everything, uh, you do, they kind of help you as far as tutoring and everything, help you stay on top of everything. Yeah. And what are you majoring in, bro? Calm right now and with uh, sales, going to get sales to you. Right on, man. Good mm-hmm. stuff. Okay, so, you know, last year we didn't mix it up a lot, but we wore a lot of different combinations of uniforms at UW over the years. What's your favorite? The favorite that I've seen, we haven't worn worn it yet, but I either like the All Blacks. The All Blacks were clean when I seen it. Uh, I think we wore it versus USC, and it was just – it was crazy when I watched it. Uh, All White is nice too, but that was when they had the All White helmets too. That was – that was insane to you. Okay. Well, um, any message for Husky Nation? I know you're chomping at the bit to get back up here and get out on the field with your boys, but uh, until then, any message? Everybody stay safe. Uh, we'll be back at it soon. Stay uh, stay at home so we can play and go dogs. I love it, man. Thanks for your time, bro. Be safe and uh, hope to see you up here sooner than later. Got you. All right. Thanks, Terrell. Have a good one. You too. Bye-bye.